In response to the alarming spread of the Yamra's disease across the island, affecting yam crops and posing a significant threat to the agricultural sector, the Ministry of Agriculture, Fisheries, Food Security and Rural Development has launched a comprehensive plan to combat the disease. A series of meetings have been conducted throughout the island to serve as a platform to educate farmers about the symptoms, its modes of transmission and effective strategies for prevention and control. Crop Protection Officer of the Plant Research and Development Division, Winston Elliott, explained that farmers were briefed on the importance of early detection and prompt action to contain the spread of the disease, emphasizing the role of vigilance and adherence to recommended agricultural practices. One of the key factors in controlling any pest that we have is early detection. When we carry out early detection, we can control more effectively. And this is not just only about yamras. We're talking about crops in general, that we do not want farmers to be, or, or the general public bringing in crops from um, a neighboring island where they may really ha already have a pest existing, or planting material and just trying to smuggle it in. Because any time a pest gets into St. Lucia that is not already existing, or it's an invasive species, it is extremely difficult to eradicate and control. And the multiplier effect is, is, is significant in terms of controlling, um, bringing out corrective measures. It also is a huge threat to, to food security and the livelihood of farmers and many people. An action plan has been set in motion by the Agricultural Ministry, focusing on intensive testing and monitoring efforts across the island. A team of agricultural experts were deployed to conduct tests and track the levels and rate of the spreading of the disease in the various agricultural regions. Mr. Elliott explains these measures are crucial for gaining insights into the dynamics of the disease and formulating targeted interventions. Okay, we have detected the yamras in some parts in Sufre, some parts in the Viewfort and sub areas. In the Val in, in, in the Denry Valley parts of Miko, we have observed the rust is there. Uh, we're in the process of um, compiling a report. We're going to make some recommendations as to how we move forward expeditiously in terms of measures that we can implement to have this under control within the new planting season that is happening right now and moving forward to the latter part of, of the year. When the rainy season comes, this is the time, the environment that is highly conducive for the fungus to thrive in the rainy season. But during the dry season, like what we're experiencing now and moving forward for the next month or two, it gives us a, an avenue to keep disease pressures low. This is why we're taking this opportunity to educate farmers educate the public in ensuring that we carry out uh, the best control practices to have this under con control. As the battle against the Yamra's disease continues, the Agriculture Ministry remains steadfast in protecting farmers' livelihoods and ensuring food security. Farmers are encouraged to remain vigilant and collaborate closely with agricultural authorities to combat this disease effectively in efforts to preserve the vitality of St. Lucia's agricultural landscape and sustain the well-being of its rural communities. From the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Agriculture, I am Anicia Antoine reporting.